this is the Baker Precision Flow Machine. Um, when setting up your machine, you'll need the following pieces of equipment. You select between a low flow or a high flow set. The low flow is 1 to 8 litres per minute and the high flow is 5 to 40 litres per minute. Within this bag, you'll get a cartridge, a water path and a patient delivery set. You will then need some sterile water for irrigation or inhalation if you have some available. And then there are five different cannulas that you could use. They range from premature, neonate, infant, intermediate infant and paediatric adult small. The first four go from 1 to 8 litres per minute and the last one goes from 5 to 40 litres per minute. This is the Vapotherm Precision Flow Machine. So you will remove your vapour transfer cartridge from the individual packaging, removing the four rubber buns. You will line up the pegs, inserting like so, into the cartridge. You will then get the patient delivery tube, locating the white prongs on the side and matching up with the delivery tube. Pushing in firmly the machine and heater plate to heater plate, pushing the cartridge in, close the door, then you're ready to spike your bag. I've currently got sterile water for irrigation, but you can also use sterile water for inhalation. Using ANTT, remove your cap and spike your bag. Open the clump. This will allow the water to start running through the machine. You can then power on your machine and plug in your hoses. The end of your patient delivery tube to the clip on the side of the machine. You have turned your machine on, so you now have the blue dial, which you can click and change your parameters. So you have litres, FiO2 percentage, and temperature. You also have the cartridge indicator here. I've currently got a low flow um, within my machine. You've pressed start just here. Initially you will have an amber button but during the startup this will change to flashing green identifying that there is flow but the temperature has not been set. A solid green will arrive when the machine is at its current temperature. I have a solid green right now which means it's set at 37. As an example, if I have a four kilogram patient at two liters per kilo, I'd be wanting to change my flow up to eight. Um, we need to ensure that we clean the machine with a Clenel and the precision flow should have um, its own stand and this should not be dismantled. Whilst you are setting up your machine, you can warm up your nasal cannula to using a cannula that does not occlude more than 50% of the nostril and applying the cannula to the patient, then the delivery tube once your temperature has been reached. Vapor then cannulas are colour coded to ensure um, for easy identification. If you are running a nebulizer, if the patient is stable, confirming with your medical team it is okay to reduce flow whilst running your neb as vapor then can hinder the delivery of solution. For this, you would press the dial again and turn your flow right down to one. When your patient no longer requires the Vapotherm machine or they need to come off it for a period of time, the set can last for 30 days, so you can just turn down the literage to the lowest value, which currently for a high flow is 5. Acknowledge. Once you've completely finished with the machine, clamp your line, turn off on the wall, and then hold the button to power down. You can then remove your set. Remove your cartridge and dispose it all together as single use.